Well, thanks for joining me. I'm Craig Cameron, and uh, I'm uh, talking to you from right here in the northern hill country of Texas, uh, close to my hometown, Bluffdale, and the Double Horn Ranch. So, you know, every day we, we really pra try to practice really good horses and horsemanship. And I come out here every day with the attitude, hey, Craig, I'm going to ride better today than I did yesterday. If you come out here with that attitude, you carry that with you on the inside and make that conscientious effort to literally ride better, I guarantee you will. One of the secrets to riding better is talking to yourself. So I thought today we'd talk a little bit. I have people say to me, Craig, how do you sit that lope? I want to sit real comfortable in that lope. So at a lot of our clinics, you know, I really work on that with people. We start easy, we start slow, and, uh, and, and do whatever you have to do to help yourself. You know, I don't know where that deal came from about never, ever grab the saddle horn. You know, I just think that's, to me, I want to do whatever I got to do to ride better. So for people that come, I tell them, heck, if you need to grab that saddle horn to balance up on it, learn that feel, that good feel <clears throat> and rhythm uh, uh, while you're cantering, then go ahead and do it. It's much better than balancing on the reins. Now that's a no-no. So now I don't like people to do it. I tell them, quit using the reins for balance. This is not for balance. This is not what keeps you from falling off. That saddle, you're supposed to balance on that saddle. So if you got to grab that saddle horn or that night latch or the Cheyenne roll to help yourself, then do it while you're <clears throat> learning how, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I always say, you know, live to ride another day. You know, what's better, eat dirt or grab that saddle horn? I tell you what, grab the saddle horn. And matter of fact, I can grab that saddle horn, make it look pretty darn good. So now when you're loping, the things I want you to think about and work on and concentrate while you're riding, that means you're going to have to get your subconscious mind telling your body what to do. That's one of the big secrets to me. You have your mind. When I say mind, body, and spirit, when I say mind, that's the part I'm talking about. Your mind is engaged. You're telling yourself what to do. I'm saying to myself, while I'm riding, Craig, sit in the middle. Craig, quit that leaning forward. Craig, do not lean. Craig, from your belly button down, roll those hips in rhythm with that horse. Craig, get your feet underneath you. Craig, relax your legs and bend your knees and get your chin up and look where you're going. I am literally saying that stuff to myself while I'm riding. And when you start telling yourself what to do, I promise you, your body will start doing it. So that's what I'm going to do. So you're going to hear me sort of talking out loud and telling myself what to do. Uh, and this is a horse I'm riding for a man that's an outside horse and he just wants him rode a little bit and, and gentled up and you know I think I got him you know coming my way and doing really really well. He's, he's going to make a really nice horse. So another one of the things now you, you don't want to ride with a tight rein. Soft touch, loose rein, slow guiding hands, guiding not pulling. So now for me to ride off I'm going to already start telling myself what to do. So I'm gonna say, Craig, get your hands forward. Watch me move my feet back about three inches. I wanna start this horse from behind right here. And I'm gonna squeeze and what? Push with my seat. My riding aids are gonna be my seat and my legs. So learn to use them, you know? So again, I'm gonna squeeze and push and ask this horse to step forward. Now, I'm walking, I'm gonna build up to a lope. But in the meantime, I'm saying, Craig, get ready. Get your hands forward. I don't want to ride with my hands way up in my belly. Just kind of natural like on a soft touch and a loose rein. So as I go to gain speed here, move my feet back, squeeze, push with my seat. Just tip into a trot. I'm already finding rhythm. Look at me grab that saddle horn and just make it look good. I'm just use that to balance if I need it right here. I'm gonna to push to a canter and I'm gonna use my right leg and push to canter. 
Now I'm saying, Craig, roll those hips. Roll those hips. Craig, don't lean. Craig, pick your chin up and don't look down. Sit back a little bit. Keep your pockets engaged. In other words, your seat engaged. Roll those hips and just ride that horse. Ride. Watch, I can drop my reins, put my hands across my here, and just work on that rhythm. Put one, here, come on. Put one hand on the saddle horn, one hand behind me. Find rhythm here. Sit in the middle. Go, go, go. Good. Now watch when I want to stop. Watch me just quit riding. And whoa. Boom. Right there. Didn't have to pull on him. I just had to stop riding. And the, this horse here, again, he's here for schooling. And this is good for him and good for me. We're working on a unison, a, a rhythm, a, a harmony, a, a togetherness. So I tell people, don't be dead weight, be live weight. Learn to move with that horse. Listen to me, I'm, I'm kind of breathing a little bit because, you know, if you've ever listened to me before, you hear me say, it's not sitting, it's riding. So engage yourself and, and go to work and use your whole body. And, and that's how you become what we call a fit rider. But all the time, my mind was working and I was telling myself what I should or should not do. I was doing both, not leaning, hands forward, engage your hips, sit up, chin up, quit looking down. Just kind of telling myself good horsemanship tips. And I think if you'll do that, you're gonna find by talking to yourself and practicing with that conscientious effort, all you're gonna do is get better. Remember, if you want something different, you gotta do something different. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining me. Appreciate you guys more than you know. Hey, be good to your horse. Stay humble and kind, and I'll see you on the next episode.